Hello, my name is Dr. Lux and I'll be your doctor today. Nice meeting you. Nice to meet you. So, I see here that we have 1 p.m. appointment. Mm -hmm. uh, may I please have your name and date of birth? Yeah, August is my name. And my birth date is the 1st of August. Very nice meeting you, August. So what brings you in today? Um, so I have been told by another doctor that I have um, a condition called trigeminal neuralgia. Okay. Which is, uh, I get like shooting pains and it feels like electric shock pain here sometimes. At, right there? Yeah. Uh, sometimes it goes down to the back of my throat, sometimes to my eye, and sometimes on my nose. Uh, it's not very regular, um, but obviously it does worry me quite a lot. So not regular. And uh, when was this diagnosis given to you? Um, in 2018. Okay. And have you seen any other doctors since then for it? No, they said that they couldn't find a cause and that I just had to deal, deal with it and come back if it got really bad. And how has this affected your daily life? Can you carry on your usual activities? Or? Yeah, so I would say like 98% of the time it's fine and I don't get any pain. Um, but sometimes it stops me in my tracks and I have to just sit down for a bit. And sometimes I just have to keep going, even through the pain. And on a scale of 1 to 10, how would you rate your pain? 10. A 10, okay. And when that nerve is triggered, for how long does the pain last? So it's like on and off, sometimes for 10 minutes, sometimes 10 minutes. for a whole day, sometimes just once or twice and then it goes. And how do you manage it usually? Um, most of the time I just try to relax, not get too scared by it and just kind of breathe through the pain and just tell myself that I'll be okay. That's it. Okay, well I'm happy that you're able to manage it. Um, so I'll be more than happy to do an assessment on you today okay. and I'll try to um, evaluate the area and mm -hmm. see if I can trigger the nerve um, and help you out. Okay, thank you. So I'm going to start off by putting on my gloves. And are you in any pain right now? No. I had some pain this morning when I was brushing my hair. When you're brushing your hair? Yeah. Okay. I'm definitely going to focus on your head and your hair as well. Okay. Alright, August. So I'm going to start off just by doing a visual inspection of you. Just going to look at your face. If you can please move your head over to the left side. I'm looking for just any lesions, lumps or bumps, redness. And it's right here. Yeah. Okay. That is where the trigeminal nerve starts, which has branches all throughout the rest of the face. So I'm not able to see anything externally. No redness, no lesions. Just going to compare with the other side. If you can please look over to the other side. Just taking a look at your neck and 
do over here. No external signs whatsoever. Okay. I'm going to focus on your face next. And I'll start by just doing a light palpation. Okay. Um, and then I'll perform a very thorough cranial nerve exam and see if we can get to the bottom of this and uh, help you today. Okay, thank you. Okay, you can just close your eyes. going to lightly touch your face to see how your skin reacts to my touch. Skin is reactive to touch. Just going to palpate your jawline and your neck. Now I'll be looking for any signs of anything abnormal any lumps or bumps starting with your neck first no lumps or bumps pressing down at the top of your spine any pain right there it's just um quite Tense the muscles. Tense muscles. Do you stand up a lot during the day? I think, yeah, and it's like because I've got anxiety, it makes me tense my whole upper body. Mm. Okay. No lumps or bumps other than just a very intense tightness over here at the top of your spine. Not noting any lymph node enlargement. Pressing down on your temples, any tenderness right here? Um, no. I'm going to press down gently on your mastoid process, which is the bone behind your ear. Let me know if you feel any pain. No pain. Can you look over to your left face? Just going to palpate this area over here where you indicate that pain is radiating from. Any pain right here? Um, a little bit. A little bit. Any pain when I pull down on your ear? No. How about when I pinch up? No. And back? No. Any pain when I do this? No. use my otoscope here to take a look inside your ear to see if I can spot anything that you know other doctors may have missed okay so continue looking to your left I'm just going to take a look inside visualize your ear canal and tympanic membrane pearly gray color with well-defined margins Not seeing any signs of anything abnormal. Okay. Let me take a look over in the other one as well. The oracle of the ear is also normal in appearance. No multi-panic membrane as well, no signs of any infection or inflammation. Alright, I'll 
August, I'm going to do a hearing test next. Okay. Can you please close your eyes for me and tell me if you hear a sound and if you do, with which ear do you hear it with left or right? Right, left, right, right. Excellent. And now please tell me if you hear the sound becoming louder or quieter. Louder, quieter, quieter, louder. Can you please tell me if you hear the sound above or below you? Below, above, uh, straight ahead. Very good. That was a trick question. All right. Next up, I'm going to use my medical hammer here and tap lightly on your face and try to trigger okay. um, the nerves in your face. Let me know if you feel any pain whatsoever. Okay. Can you please look over to your left? Just close your eyes for me. So, so far so good, it looks okay. I'm still going to attempt a few more tests to see if I can trigger that response so that I, I can diagnose it in real time okay. and see whether there's anything else underlying. Okay. Okay, keep your eyes closed for me. And can you please tell me if you feel this? Yeah. Okay. How about now? Where am I touching you now? On my nose. And now, my chin, my neck. Right, next up I'm going to do a test that's called sharper dog. May I please have your hand? So this is dog, <clears throat> this is sharp, and this is dog. Okay. Keep your eyes closed and let me know which side I'm tapping you with. Dog. Sharp. Dog. Sharp. Dog. Sharp, sharp, dull, sharp, excellent. So I have here a tuning fork. I'm going to strike it and cause some vibrations and I'll place it right here on your mastoid process bone. I want you to tell me when you stop hearing the sound. Okay. Now. Okay. I'm going to strike it again and place it in two different positions. I want you to tell me which one is louder. Okay. Position one. Position two. Position two. Very good. I'm going to strike it one last time and place it right in the area that you mentioned mm -hmm. the vein is radiating from. And I want you to tell me if you feel any discomfort. Okay. Any pain? No. Okay. I'm gonna attempt the same test over on your other ear. Okay. So tell me when the sound stops first. No. Very good. And now, is this position louder or is this one? The first one. The first one. Very good. And for symmetry, I'm going to repeat the same test where I strike my tuning force and place it right here 
Any pain? No. No. Okay. I have here a medical device that's going to allow me to pinch your skin very gently to see if I can trigger that sensation. Okay. Right, just relax for me and let me know if you feel any discomfort. discomfort always? No. Next up, I'm going to focus on your head and your hair and see if I can not trigger the nerve by touching your head and then massaging your scalp and then slightly pulling on your hair. Okay. Right. Keep your eyes closed for me and relax. Just going to palpate your head to begin with. Your head is symmetric, not feeling any lumps or bumps. Any discomfort right now, August? No. or bones and it does not seem that I'm able to trigger the nerve. I'm going to try to use my comb next. So continue keeping your eyes closed. sensations. No.
Next up, I'd like to take just a couple of measurements of your face and the circumference of your head and your eyes so that we have a good reference of this data for you. So continue keeping your eyes closed. And if there are any inflammations or you know, anything that's out of the ordinary, we'll be able to pinpoint it later on. your ear 3.15 okay I'm going to focus on your eyes next can you look at the tip of my nose I'm just going to flash my light in your eyes and check for your pupil response very good so normal pupil response round and reactive to light which is a very good sign can you cover one eye and tell me how many fingers I'm holding up? Two, one, two, five, two, ten. Excellent. Can you cover the other eye? One, two, ten. Very good. All right, August. Next up, I'd like to take your ear temperature. Just look over there for me and relax. Mm, 98.5 Fahrenheit, so definitely you do not have uh, you know, any fever. I also like to inspect your nose. If you can look up for me, I'm looking for any abnormalities, discharges, signs of inflammation. And I'm not able to see anything. Let's also quickly test your smell just to make sure that there is some works well with that cranial nerve. Can you tell me what this is? Coffee. Coffee. Very good. Well, August, I was not able to find anything new with you. Um, I would say to just keep your condition um, you know, under um, monitoring, so definitely take any notes of the pain when it comes, when it goes, um, what kind of pain it is. Uh, but as of right now, I'm not able to see anything that would uh, allow me to put any other diagnosis than the one that you've already received. Okay. Thank you very much, August. Nice meeting you. And you. Thank you.